Alrighty guys, so this will take about an hour. Um, what we are going to be covering today is uh, how to use the logs, how to use the menu uh, to use your commands, how to use your commands in chat, um, how to take sits, and then just proper etiquette of uh, you know what to do, what not to do, and such. Uh, so during the time, um, I would like you guys not to talk just because it's going to confuse things. Unless you have a question at which to tell you in chat, and I'll you know you can talk then. Um, and then uh, we'll go from there. Uh, so okay. for the beginning, what we're going to do is uh, follow along with me. We're going to go over how to use a log system, uh, and then we'll go on from there. So to so to so to select system, it's exclamation point logs, no period. So just go into logs for me. The end. Uh, so when you're in the logs, okay, uh, it's just exclamation point logs. Uh, so you do, there is multiple categories, which there is name changes, job changes, kill slash death, props, gun, connect, uh, connections, damage logs, arrest, demotion, and hits. All these categories, like going inside of them, they all function the same way. They all show the time, and they all show like other necessary things, uh, depending on what category you go in. Other than that, uh, with at every category, you can click on the time cat the time subcategory to organize the time from most recent to least recent. Make sure when you have to look in logs, always organize it from most recent by clicking the time button uh, subcategory. Sorry. Um, so for name changes, I don't think it works. Um, not percent sure to be honest, but name changes pretty much just simply shows people um, if they change their name or not. It'll say their time. It'll say their Steam ID, their Steam name, their previous, their new name. Um, there is an option on. There's an option at the bottom left, which is says select there. That doesn't usually work. It sometimes do. Doesn't always. Uh, what it will do is if you click on it, it'll actually color in a specific person. So if you can't find, say, if someone got RDM'd, like, um, say, if I got RDM'd, so you click, you know, select the player, you select Frank, it'll show in green Frank's name, and then you, it'll kind of bold it in a little so you can find that person a little bit easier. Um, but it doesn't work sometimes, so I just say don't worry about it. Uh, job changes, which is in that next category, you can just click over to the uh, it's simple, just pretty much tells you about the jobs that people changed from and to. Uh, and just to let you know, I am going to be rushing it a little bit more from here on, just mainly because I don't want to keep you guys here forever, and I do have to take a shot on uh, If you guys should, I'll let you guys ask questions at the end of each uh, thing, uh, uh, each category. Anyways, so in the jobs category, you obviously have the time again, the names, their old job, and their new job. Uh, this is good for, like, job abuse, pretty much. Much uh, to see someone job abused. Uh, someone claims, you know, hey, no, this person job abused. He bought a gun dealer, then thief. We can look in here and see that he's a thief and went to gun dealer. Then you can then show if he went to gun to or back to thief, and that could help you prove a little bit. So that's what that does. The kill slash death is one of the most important categories. Uh, obviously, shows the time again, shows the killer, the victim, and with weapon the, the killer you uh, claims that were RDM'd. Uh, the best way to find the person just organize it by the most recent time, like I said, click on the time category and look for the person's name. So say if, uh, let's see here, if you organize the most recent time and say Impossible Girl said she was killed by someone, she's who she RDM'd, you can go in here, click, uh, and you can pretty much look possible. Over here it says uh, Impossible was killed by Havoc uh, with a jackhammer. So that's how you would tell. Uh, the kill, the, the kill death menu is very important, it's pretty much with most RDM situations. Uh, next category is the prop category, which doesn't work, so I wouldn't worry about it too much. Um, but it's supposed to log in what props. Um, next category is the tool category, also not really too useful. I can see if someone's spamming a specific prop, like if the server starts. You can look in here and look at stacker, I guess. If it's stacking a lot of something, if it's lagging, then you can check. Other than that, this just shows what tools people are using. Connections and disconnections category. Uh, this is very helpful to see um, 
if someone, uh, you know, to see the incoming and outgoing traffic, especially if someone in mid sit leaves the sit, uh, if they leave the sit and log off the server, well, you can go over here, it'll say that the person disconnected. You can right click the name uh, or the, that line, and you can do this with any category. Mind you, you can right click the LC copy line, or you can just even do the copy Steam ID if you make sure it's the right person. And then you can set Steam ID in, and you can uh, you can give the Steam ID, or you can ban them via Steam ID once you're mod. Anyways, as a T mod, you won't be banned by Steam ID. With that, what you do is you get Steam ID, ban them for one day is the max amount as a T mod. Uh, what you do is Give the Steam ID to a modder and just let him know, hey, this person, Mass RDM, he needs to be banned longer than you ban him for, so I need you to ban him. Um, yeah. The next category, which is damage log. Damage log is very important. It damage uh, for parties. Um, it really does help figure out RDM situations, because sometimes you have confusing situations where a person will say, I was RDM'd. Well, if you bring the rule breaker that's supposedly RDM'd, he'll go, well, hey, I only RDM'd him because he was attacking me. So you can go into damage logs, organize most recent time, go into the, you know, right where the conflict already, you can see the damage exchange, see who's the very person that's dealt the damage, and then that's how you go on from there. Um, the rest and unarrest category does not work, unfortunately. When it, when someone says arrest, it just go by what they say, unfortunately. So if they say, you know, Joe Mo arrested them, then Bridge Ocean asks him if he says no, then we'll cover that a little bit later on about how, how to deal with that so uh, motions doesn't work so don't worry about it uh people aren't allowed to demote anyways when their staff's on anyway so uh our category is very important uh, another well it's not that important but it, it does help um pretty much anything i can really think is it helps you d uh, figure out if a hitman did rdm someone or not um the only way you if um if a hitman did uh, RDM, he pretty much would not be the hit men, the hits category at all. Like you'd look in there and just would not have it on that person at all. If it's said, but if it's said complete, accepted, or failed, as long as it's one of those three, it's a legitimate hit. So we're gonna go right on to uh, using the ULX commands uh, and going over what they do. Um, so to do that, just type exclamation point menu, and we're going to go into the menu, and we're going to cover uh, each category of commands as a T-Mod. As you rank, you will get more and more commands. Uh, I will obviously just be going over what you currently have. Let me pull it up one minute. We have various commands, uh, categories. Um, I'll be covering most of them. So you don't really have to know. Like, for instance, the chat category is a lot of them ones that you probably don't even need. Uh, but there's the gag, mute, of course. Uh, gag pretty much makes it so they can't talk over their mic, and mute makes it so they can't type, or it might be the other way around. But we'll figure it out when we test it on each other. Uh, uh, to undo no. any command, it's always gag. Okay, I am right then. Good. Uh, uh, and then there's always ungag and uh, unmute. Obviously, just undo those commands of the people. The next category down, which is called Essential, you got Copy ID, which I would say probably don't bother using. I'd rather you guys just use logs and go to the connections and disconnections, so don't worry about that. Uh, the watch list, same thing. Well, not really same thing. It's not really that necessary, not really that helpful. Uh, the watch list pretty much just shows who's on the but almost everyone their mother gets this when they get a uh, written warning anyway, so it just gets flooded anyway, so it's really not that helpful. Um, just don't worry about it. Uh, you got the freeze props and remove ragdolls. We've all had that. I'm pretty sure you, most of you know of it. Uh, you can clear uh, ragdolls, um, decals, and freeze props pretty much even as a trusted ring. So as to help stabilize the server. So if the server's lagging, you do all three. If you, see, if you notice a lot of gore on the server um, during purge or zombie uh, event, you can obviously clear ragdolls and clear blood. Uh, further down, we do. You have vote gag, which is pretty much useless. You shouldn't be doing vote gag because you can just use uh, gag on them immediately. So don't be doing vote gag to be honest. Why it's in there for staff? Uh, you do have ULX warn, which if you've read the staff um, rules, uh, uh, that is step two of the four um, system for us. So what, what, for, so what it is is when someone gets in trouble, the second time they get in trouble, they get a written warning, which that's how, that's it right there, warn. Then they get a kick and a ban. We'll go over that more afterwards. But written warning, um, you pretty much give that out if uh, they're on their second um, 
offense. And like I said, we'll go over it later. Um, the next category, which is fun, really should not be called fun, uh, is jail and GLTP and unjail. Jail is pretty much what it is. It puts a person in a jail cell. Um, only do that if a person is actually trying to hurt people or if they run away from a set. Um, but jail pretty much just jails the person in place. GLTP, if the person runs away from you, you can t do exclamation point GLTP, the person's name, and bring them to you. Uh, and I'll actually cover how to do chat commits uh, right after this. Uh, anyways, uh, and then you got unjail. Uh, unjail can actually unjail jail and GLTP, both pretty much the same thing. Uh, the helpful category, you have arrest, which is really the um, RP arrest um, that sends them to jail. You shouldn't really be using that uh, as a means to punish. Um, but, I mean, if someone was supposed to be arrested when, you know, you might have interrupted or whatever, or, you know, when, when it calls for it, you may use arrest on the person to send them to RP jail. Uh, you got banish, which sends the person back to spawn. You got demote, so if a person, uh, so, you know, say if someone's abusing their job, um, you may demote them off their job. Please make sure that it actually calls for it. Uh, UOXFA, which is just freeze all props. It's the same thing as freeze props. It's just freeze all props. Same exact thing, just different wording for it. Uh, sell door, so if, you, if someone, you know, owns doors and say if they own like a, a bunch of buildings, you can go up to a door, look at the door, type exclamation point, sell door, or even just go on here and click it from the menu, uh, and it'll sell the door on the person. Just make sure that, you know, it's, you know, like, it's necessary to do so. And then you got unarrest, uh, which obviously is very helpful when people get randomly arrested. You may unarrest them uh, with this if, you know, of course, uh, if they were wrongfully arrested. Uh, next category, let's see here. You don't have many. Well, you do have many, but it's nothing useful in there. You don't have purge category. You don't have archon. The next category is teleport. So you got bring, go to, and return. Uh, pretty much just brings the person to you. Go to makes it so you go to the person, pretty much teleport to them. And return, returns the person or yourself back to the last place they were from. So if you bring the rule breaker or a person in general, uh, once it's done, just type exclamation point return their name and they'll still go back exactly where they were. And same thing for yourself. When you do a sit and you go to the person and you say, you know, how, how, what can I help you with? Uh, uh, once the situation is done, you would then do exclamation point return, and you would, you would return yourself. And yes, you have to type your name when you're returning. Uh, exclamation point return by itself targets you, so you don't have to actually type your name. When it comes to other people, of course, you have to type their name in, though. Uh, next category, let's see here, you don't have use, user management. Uh, next category is probably the most important of being a staff member, which is utility. You got ban, ban check, kick, spectate, and there's who in help, you don't know, neither of what you need to know. And obviously, it's just ban them for a specific amount of time. Of course, if they are on step four of the uh, of breaking rules, pretty much, we'll go over that more later. Um, if you uh, ban, you got ban check, which you, you use that actually with a Steam ID, and you can see how long a person has been banned for. So. The person says, hey, do you know how long my friend's been banned for? And you can say, sure, what's their Steam ID? Get their Steam ID, you put in ban check, and you can check ban ID. Uh, ban uh, ban everyone, can check people ban, uh, bans like that. So um, You do have ULX kick, which is step three of uh, the, the four-step system for st uh, staffs when it comes to giving people warnings and such. Uh, we'll go over that later. Um, and then we got spectate. Spectate makes a secret looks at the person's eyes, but you can't hear them, uh, hear what they're saying or people around them. Sometimes you can't really see a people or sometimes props, it derps out, I don't know, it's weird. Um, but it's, you can keep it, it's pretty much used to keep an eye on people. Um, but also you can use it sometimes if you can't go to people because the, their space, they're in a really confined space, they'll say like, it, the command says like, you can't go to this person for whatever reason. You can actually spectate to see where they are and then you go to where they are. Uh, and then you do have vote category, the voting category. You don't need that. Don't worry about it. Um, and that's everything in there. Guys, everyone can get up now. We're going to just do a little uh, uh, quick exercise and try a few commands on each other and whatnot. Eric, everyone come near me so we can all hear each You can just AFK behind the chair now where you were, or you can just keep, you know, getting different.
different angles and just watching a few these things. Uh, this won't really be too helpful for the person that's really watching other than learning how to type stuff. But um, in any case, uh, so to type, so I type in menu, uh, like I said before, to, to use commands, there's also typing commands. Then you don't have to go menu, which is only to type in there. Um, but you can also type commands. Now, to type, depending on, it really depends on what command. But for almost all commands, it's exclamation point, the ulx command, and the person's name. Um, so let's say, for instance, uh, Phonius, why don't you tr do jail, uh, jail red for me? So if you just simply do exclamation point jail red, it'll have to jail her, and then it'll unjail her. You guys may jail each other, just don't jail people outside. Um, but that's how you do chat commands, and you can do that with any command, of course. You can do that with kick, you can ban, you can do unjail, ungag. Mute, it's all the same. Exclamation point, you know, mute, red, like that, and I would mute her, and they can do exclamation point, unmute, red. To undo any command, it's exclamation point, UN, and whatever command you did before, it's just by adding UN, at the, uh, you know, with the command. You should always make sure you undo it. Um, <laughs> he got stuck in it. <laughs> um, when it comes to kicking and banning, it's a bit more uh, to kick someone. It's exclamation point kick. Of course, don't use this on each other. But it's exclamation point kick, uh, the name, and then the reason. Reason. So it looked like that's pretty much. So it'd be kick red RDM say. Uh, uh, and that would kick red. Uh, do make sure when you, at least as mod, uh, um, or type the whole person's name, uh, at least most of it, um, as much as you can, just because it'll target uh, multiple people. Sorry to interrupt. Command, which you should never do. Uh, it, it, it targets everyone on the server. Uh, the only time it's actually okay to do the star command is if you unjail. Uh, uh, I accidentally forgot the UN and it jailed everyone. Uh, but you can do unjail and that target everyone on server. Um, and like I said, you can undo any commands. You can unjail, unfreeze when you get it, uh, whatever other uncommand. If there's like multiple people, like say if you wound up jailing people because they all were going crazy or whatever, typing each of their name, you can just do exclamation point unjail star and it'll unjail. Um, yeah. Uh, and then so I showed you kick. So to ban would just be exclamation point ban red, uh, let's say 1440 RDM times three. It would look like this pretty much. Uh, 1440 pretty much means 1,440 minutes, which is equivalent to one day. Um, but like I said, when you ban kick people, do use the menu. Um, of course, you can use the chat commands if you feel comfortable. I'd say use the, the menu for a little while. Um, but yeah, and there's no way to really unban. You have to get like an admin to do it, um, or me or wonder, of course. So, uh, and that's pretty. This uh, and these commands is pretty much the layout for any command. So you know, to go to, you can do you know, treat by going to each other, bringing each other if you want. Um, so, it, and then same thing with returning. Uh, if you ban to ban someone permanently, it's exclamation point ban their name and then zero. So zero represents permanently. Uh, so, and then, to br so to bring people, it's just exclamation point, bring, you know, uh, ninja. Uh, and then say, you know, now he's here with me, it's a sit. Once the sit's done, just exclamation point, return, ninja. And that's it. Uh, the other, the last thing I'll do, because it's just a little interactive, is, uh, you can't, like I said, spectate people. Uh, so why don't you, uh... uh. So to, once you when you're spectating someone to get out of spectate like to come back to where you are just move a little to to unspectate. Uh, feel free to spectate anyone that's not here. So spectate someone that's like actually out there RPing. I am gonna spectate the Bloods leader. Spectate. Just spectate someone. Check it out to see what it's like. Spectate. And this is freaky. Hopefully this meeting won't take too much longer. 
I will speed it up because you know I've been meaning to speed it up and I, I, I do take longer than I should so uh, once Phonius comes back I will alright I have exit uh, spectating okay cool um okay we can have a seat and we're gonna just go over protocol and then we will be good so I will be a little hasty with this because it seems like uh, you gotta go there uh, so and plus, I want to keep us here forever anyways. Um, so one thing before I forget, the at chat before used to be for us to call staff. Uh, the at chat now is also not only to call staff, but to just talk amongst each other. Um, yeah, exactly, yo. Yo, yo. <laughs> um, just, uh, you know, do avoid flooding it. So it's okay if you talk talking but just lean utterly flood it endlessly uh, is the only thing. But if you need to talk amongst each other, uh, if you need to ask, if there's a warning on someone, you know, say, hey, you know, if, if someone's about to give someone a, uh, their next, you know, if someone's got in trouble, then you can ask staff, hey, is there anything on this person? Like, did he break any rules before? Oh, yeah, I gave him a written warning before. Okay, he's up for a kick now. And so that's, you know what I mean? So you converse and keep in communication with the other staff. Um, okay, so I'm not even going to be in, I'm going to minimize my screen now, and I'm just going to go over staff protocol. I do have a EST file. We're going to go over this, and we're going to go, oh, I'm going to chase you, so do just keep up. If you, get, if you do get confused with what I said you made, you know, let me know. Um, dealing with prop spammers, uh, we did have, actually haven't had a prop spammer problem for a while. Server ever does lag badly. Uh, you can do the, always freeze all props, and then check logs, um, and check props. Actually, props used to work now. I'm thinking about in the logs. I think it still must still probably. Uh, but check it if you can. If it doesn't work, then have a look into it. In any case, um, so you'd freeze all, all props on the server and then check logs, check props category, and see if there's anyone spamming props when it actually does work. Uh, if there's someone that is spamming, go to them, see if they're spamming. Uh, uh, but I tell you, if you go into chain link fences, jiggling everywhere, that's prop spam. They're pretty much intentionally damaging the server. If you ever see that, you're welcome to permanently ban the server. Uh, they can appeal on the forms. So, uh, well, so we need to immediately without a set. Everyone has to have a set. Set. Uh, the only time is per, uh, prop spammers. They ha they may be permanently banned the second you see it. Uh, just don't be mistaken by someone that's kind of accidentally an example be a hoax on babies or boots uh, and if you know if you find out if that server's lagging find this person's like 10,000 boots in a bathtub uh, you know go to him let him know hey you gotta delete these boots it's lagging the server uh, please remove it uh, so that's way to differentiate is it just when you go there to see if it looks like it's meaningful to it if just go there and see if it looks like it's actually, you know, meant to damage the server. The best way is if it's really big and it drops, and it just takes up, like, the whole room or a huge clump. If it's little things, it's probably not intentional, like hobo's boots and such. So, um, but yeah, you don't, people don't need any excuse to permanent someone for prop spam. They can explain themselves on the forums, which most likely will get declined. Uh, when doing sets, uh, save the goofiness for uh, when you're RPing or after the set, but don't be goofy during a set. It's going to send the wrong signals. So let's say you sit, but just you know, stay rather neutral uh, because goofiness is just going to send the wrong signals and they're going to get confused. Um, like I said before, you always have to conduct sets. Um, this was, is with everything but prop spammers. Um, but no matter what, even if you are RPing and someone just walks up to someone and blows them away, uh, you can't just you be like, oh, I'm giving you, I'm kicking you from the, you can't do that. You have to conduct a set. You have to say, you know, hey, why did you do that? Um, and find out, you, you know, being a staff member is like being an investigator. You have to look into it before you make the judgment call. Um, so just make sure you always conduct, conduct a set, no matter what, even mass RDMers, and we'll go over that afterwards, but even mass RDMers, you have to conduct a set. Most likely it's going to wind up them being permanent, but some rare can, can be uh, can be a uh, raid. So, so um, um, don't jail people uh, unless they're actually. The only time you ever jail people is if they're trying to hurt you or others, uh, and I, I mean this mainly in a set or even YRPing. What you're not supposed to use commands anyways. YRPing. We'll cover that in a minute, but uh, in a set 
Uh, don't I have a person that just every time he had a set, he'd just jail a person the second they got there, like the rule breaker. Uh, uh, don't don't do that unless they're hurt you, other people, or keep running away from the sit. Uh, it's gonna feel incriminated, and that's just gonna make them mad. So uh, don't jail unless it's necessary. Um, minor, really, really, really minor things that you can't resolve, and they're just—it's a really minor situation. And I mean, by like in a sit, uh, it's okay to let it go. You know, you can as long as it's only one time. If it's a continue, obviously they're you know being abusive with your uh, kindness. And so what I mean by is uh, like say if someone said I got shot by someone, not not killed, just shot. Uh, so you bring the person and you say, oh well, you know it was a crossfire. I didn't mean to this and that. Uh, if it's really minor like that, okay, communication or in this case is misfire. Uh, you know you go your separate way, go RP. Uh, if you have further problems, let me know. And the same thing goes with, you know, people are arguing, you know, guys, you know, I'm sure he didn't mean to do this or whatever. Privacy communication, just go your own ways. Um, and, you know, just avoid it for a little while. Um, so on, like, really minor cases like that, you it's okay to, you know, just pretty much let, tell him, hey, just go your, you know, just continue RP. Don't worry about it. Um, but, you know, obviously, you want to try to resolve everything. But if you can't resolve something like that, then... You know, it's just let them do their, you know, let them go their separate ways. Um, however, obviously, it's all the time, you can't want to be retrained, have someone, and if you can't resolve problems. Uh, there's always staff members, too, of course, don't forget that. You can always ask staff members. You can ask me, wonder, uh, on rule. Um, you know, if you were to say, hey, you know, this person did this, uh, it is allowed. And, you know, you can just ask me. Uh, but MOTD is pretty much the best source for that, so. All right, so I'm gonna keep going. Uh, I'm gonna uh, talk to both people in the sit. So, like I said, how you always conduct the sit, you always want to make sure you talk to both people in the sit. Breaker and the victim, because you just never know. It might be the other way around. It might be the rule breaker, and the rule breaker might be the victim. So you always hear both their uh, sides of the story, and then you make the judgment call. Don't ever be one side and just hear one person. Like, yep, you're right. The other person's bad. No, you can't do that. You have to hear both sides of the story and make it always, you know, you have to make a fair judgment call. Uh, and that comes to the next thing, which is you always have to you know, be fair with everyone. You can't be, uh, you can't be biased uh, and sits at all. Even if it's your friend, you know, if they're breaking the rules, it's no, no different than anyone else. You know, if they'll get the next, uh, their, you know, the next, uh, Step in the system, pretty much, is what I call it, which is, you know, verb warn, explanation warn, explanation kick, explanation ban. And we'll go over that in a moment more. Um, <clears throat> use those commands, uh, other than it for an admin related stuff or admin sits. Um, this is pretty much said in the uh, staff rules. Uh, pretty much the best rule of thumb, if you ever, if you're not sure if something's okay or not. Thumb is, can there, if a user can't do it, then I can't do it either. So uh, using any kind of ULX commands of any sort is just pretty much a no-no. For instance, uh, just a really brief interview with your friend, you die, uh, or so let's say it was accidental. Uh, you accidentally hit the, even though it was accidental, doesn't mean you can just tell yourself back to your base or your friend is. Uh, you still have to walk back to base, so, uh, because everyone else can't do that, nor can you. Um, uh, when you do sets, always make sure you go to the victim and you always bring the rule breaker. Don't ever do it the other way around because you want to stay in place. Um, so you always go to them when they call for help and you always bring the victim. And then when the situation's done, you always return the, the rule breaker and you return yourself. So in other words, the victim stays exactly where, where he is. Uh, uh, don't ever RP where you where the sit is once the sit's done return yourself and then re could resume RPing if you're RPing for uh, doing something to do oh um always give warnings before always make sure before you if if they're doing if this, if someone's doing something that's aside from that's kind of like on the side of their of the step what I mean by a safe someone has they're up to their band but they do something that's not really against the rules but something you don't want them to do for instance say if 
they're just disrespecting you. It doesn't have to earn them again. Uh, if it's like a single act, you can just tell them, though, you know, hey, don't disrespect me or else I'm going to wind up kicking you. Or in that case, if, that, if they were up to a band, you can say, I'm going to wind up banding you for it. So do try to, you know, the, I guess the best word for it is be lenient with people. We want to keep the players on. We don't want to ban them off. So you want to be fair, be lenient, be, you know, be nice. That's the other thing. Always be nice to players. Um, yeah. Um, so always the rule, which I, like I said numerous times, I'm going to get into it a little bit now. Um, so first step is always verbal warn. Explanation warn, explanation kick, explanation ban. Obviously, when I mean by explanation anything, I mean by ULX commands. Um, this does wipe at the end of a day. So if, say, Joe Schmo has, is up at kick because he broke, say, numerous rules, uh, the next day he'd be back to verbal warn. Uh, these war these the step do stack. Uh, it doesn't matter if it's the same rule or not. It does stack. So if person breaks new life rule, say, okay, don't please don't break new life rule again. This is a verbal warning. Then the person goes over and RD and says, okay, uh, you know, after, obviously you find out all the details and you figure it all out. Uh, just let you know, this is a written warning for RDM. Uh, say then they go off and prop con, well, then you can, you know, you got to, you can them for prop climbing. Uh, and then lastly, um, you know, whatever rule they break, they then they would be up to their ban. Um, when it comes to banning, uh, it's kind of kind of learn that over time. Just don't be super heavy on the ban. Gotta be you know fair for people. Uh, like for instance, if someone just RDM'd four people, uh, but they were friendly and they didn't mean to, uh, then you know give them a two day ban if you want. However, if they went off and four people and they were a complete asshole even in the chat and they're saying fuck you fuck the server fuck everything and obviously he's being a complete dick he doesn't very much you know and that's pretty much mass rdm so you may permit him for that um so yeah um never disrespect players even if they're disrespecting you you pretty much simply tell them hey you know don't disrespect me staff or other players or uh, you know i'm gonna uh, it, or else I'm going to wind up kick, or in, what, in most cases, it's whatever the next step is. If they're in a sit for a kick, then it'd be up there bando. Um, doo -doo -doo, let's see here. Uh, I already, I think I already said this, but once you, if you're if you're RPing and you're in you, you know, of course you can always take a sit while RPing. Um, if you to go to someone, make sure that once you're done, turn yourself never RP from the sit uh, because I. A situation where a person was a hit in the staff member. He went to the sit and decided to RP from there because guess what? The person that the man or that he had a hit on was right behind his victim. So he went over there, killed him, and then he had uh, admin abuse on him because he should have been back to where he was when he was returned. So you would re first you would return yourself, then go after him if you really want. If anything, you might want to avoid that just a little. Maybe give him a minute or two just so it doesn't feel like you kind of got an advantage because. Yeah, doesn't look good. Um, if someone has a sit, uh, don't you know? If 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 you're in a sit with someone, like say if you you and another staff member, don't hang around the sit. You should just let that person do the sit. So pretty much just go. Uh, uh, you're shadowing. It's okay, but after that, um, if if someone gets to sit before you, um, then just go back to where you were. Don't stay there. You're gonna confuse things more. Or let the staff member do his job. Um, and that goes to the next thing. And if you ever hit, whoever is the first person to a sit owns the sit pretty much. Um, so you know, what I mean, if I if I go to if if you go to someone and I go to someone, I will immediately return myself. For instance, because you were the first one there, you beat me to it. So um, and that just saves confusion pretty much. So just uh, yeah, whoever goes to it first owns it. Uh, and and always and this is actually something I need to put in the rules too. Um. When it comes to uh, taking calls, always make sure you take your fair share of calls. Um, you know, always help each other out. I'm not saying if you take 10 million calls, you're welcome to if you want. Um, but uh, always just make sure you take your fair share of calls. Unless, you know, it's okay to do too much, but definitely not good to do too little uh, stuff. You know what I mean? Because then obviously there's no point for you to be staff if you're not going to take calls. Um, but, you know, that's why we have a lot of staff members, so you don't have to stay, you come on the server just to take that 10,000 staff. Uh, Sit and never even get to RP because you're just doing so damn many damn sets. So, 
Um, and if you have any problems, of course, with anything, you always come to me. So, uh, always confirming logs. Uh, who the rule breaker is before, uh, like, what I mean by it is like always confirming logs if someone's RDMing, for instance. The best way I could probably explain is when you go to a set, if someone says, I was RDM by Joe Schmo, well, you, if he says, it, sorry, if he says he got RDM by Joe Schmo, don't just bring Joe Schmo. You have to check the logs and confirm that Joe Schmo. Actually, I damned him because he don't know. He might be across the map, so, uh, you know, I mean, a person crossed the map with a sniper rifle could have killed him. It wasn't Joe Schmo. Then all you did was break Schmo's RP, and he probably was RPing the bank, and you just made him ruin, you know, lose, lose the, the bank, and then he's going to rage and put admin reports up, this and that. So, yeah. <laughs> um, never use commands against other staff members. Uh, this pretty much can be any command, such as jail, go uh bring go to well bring and go to you can only if they okay it you shouldn't be going to staff members in any case you should always ask uh if, if you need to talk to them about admin related whatever you may ask them hey can i come do i need to talk to you then if they say okay then you may go to them but don't just go to them randomly or, or other point randomly um first one. all right said that specific situations we'll go over that in a minute don't disrupt our when you're admin on duty um don't uh, when you're admin on duty. Don't disrupt RP in any way. Uh, I mean, you're obviously admin on duty to you know help the server, but not disrupt it. So if you're admin on duty, just stay away from uh, raids or anything like that. Because if you get away of you know obstructing the raid, then they're gonna wind up getting mad, probably putting claims in on you. Blah 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 blah. So um, yeah. <laughs> Um, don't do sits with your friends. If you have, you know, a really good friend that, you know, called help and you, and you go to it, if, 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 if it's your friend, don't do sit, have another staff member do it because it's, it's going to immediately be viewed as biased. Obviously, if you're the only staff member on then of course it's okay. Um, but otherwise you should try to avoid sits with your friends, have other staff do it. And this is the thing with sits that involve you. If you have a situation with a sit that involves you, um, you know what I mean? You shouldn't, don't do your own sits pretty much almost ever unless the server is completely dead and you're the only one on. Other than that, you should always have another staff member conduct your sits. So if someone called RDM on you, then, you know, you go sit like a normal person and you, uh, you know, I mean, you, you don't do the sit. You let the other staff member do it. Of course, you don't get banned kick and whatnot. Um, but obviously, that would just, instead instead of bans, kicks, uh, we just wind up getting strikes. And then eventually, uh, enough strikes, the person will get sit down um, from staff. So obviously, there's no rule breaking, really, as a staff member. <laughs> um, but in, in that specific sit, once the sit's over, if, if the staff member is found you know, guilty for whatever rule, uh, if it was a really major thing, then okay, then of course, that, then that staff member would bring it to me and be like, hey, Frank, I just found out the staff member was printing and RPing in the admin zone, for instance. That's, you know, that's a major no-no. Um, you can let, you know, let me or wonder know about that. Um, and of course, that pretty much brings in the next thing. If you ever see any staff members pretty much do anything wrong at all, don't technically confront them about it. If it's really, if it's not really that bad, you're like, hey, you know, you can tell them, hey, you know, you shouldn't be doing that if you really want. Um, but you should let me and wonder know, and we'll talk to them. Um, but yeah, when it comes to Add admins and such don't use commands, ban, kick ever on them. Um, we we do that. Mean wonder. That's that's pretty much our job. So, um, always conduct. Uh, yeah, I already talked about that. Uh, if oh, this is a rather new one too. I'm just about done. Um, if you have to get the server and you're the only staff member on, ask other staff members to, to come on and cover. The server uh, in your place. If you find one, feel free to ask me. I'll either see if I find someone or I'll come on myself. In most cases, I'll just come on myself and cover the server. Um, but just try your best not to leave the server empty. That's just like one of the biggest things for me. It's just I don't want the server to be empty. So if you have to get off, try to find a replacement or at least tell me or wonder and we'll find someone to cover you. If no one's on, it's dead middle of night, no staff on, I'm not on, wonder's on, no one can cover, then of course get off us. You don't have to stay on. But just make an effort try to get the server uh, covered. At least tell me. I'll always make sure that if the server gets covered one way or another. Uh, and lastly, we're going to just go over quick specific situations uh, when it comes to admin sets. Uh, and then it will be done. I'm sorry that it takes this long. Actually, usually it takes longer than this, so this is actually rather rushed. So, <laughs> uh, so specific situations. What I mean by this is just pretty much like, you know, each like 
when you go to certain calls, uh, those specific situations. So for instance, RDM. Someone claims RDM in the admin chat, you simply go explanation point, go to that person's name. Go to them, hey, how can I help you, or what's up, or any way you want, just don't be in any way or rude. Um, <laughs> to be nice. Uh, they'll say, hey, you know, I was RDM'd. Okay, hang on one second, let me check the logs. It actually didn't pull the whole thing. Yeah. Honestly, the second you hear okay. the word RDM, you may immediately just check the logs and look for our death and just find the, find the person you're talking to as victim and to see who the character is while he's even talking. That way you're ready to bring him right when he's done. Um, and then, you know, and, they, and then once you're ready, bring the, the person killed him. Say, hey, why did you kill him? Uh, this is all pretty much common sense, but I'm just over rather quickly. Uh, he'll explain the situation. Um, to really resolve these things, it takes orally, uh It comes with experience, honestly, admining for the most part. Um, but in the end, you know, you ask him why you do it. He said, uh, is whatever he could pass my KOS line. Check if you check the KOS line. If the other person argues it. Um, you know, I mean, you can so go great. over more and more stuff. Uh, once the situation is done and he's found guilty, say, and he gets a written warning because he already had a verbal warning previously. Uh, return him exclamation point. Return the person rule breaker. The, the person that you were t that called for admin, of course, does stay there. Just let him know, hey, you know, situation done. If you ever need anything, let me know. Or let me or definitely help out. And then you return yourself, resume RP. Mass RDMer, uh, you pretty much same thing for the most part. I don't have to tell you all the other stuff from previously. Um, but you, of course, when you go to the person, if he's mass RDMing, uh, you, if he, if he doesn't stop. If, if it's actually calm to talk to him, ask him why he's you know he's killing people. Uh, most likely, you're going to get one of two things. Either A, he's going to start blowing you away and other people around you. B, he's going to start saying, fuck you, fuck everyone on the server, or a combination of both. Um, if, if, if it does come to those two, those situations, and he's pretty much obviously not there to have, he's just killing people, he doesn't care, uh, and, he's just killing, you know, and he's just being completely disrespectful, you, you made them ban him permanently. However, if he's being rather nice, and he says, you know, this is a raid, then obviously if he's being calm about it, uh, investigate it more. Ask other people, see what's going on. So, uh, when it comes to arresting, you can't check logs. Uh, so like I said before, check the OOC, or not OOC, uh, ask, you have to actually ask the person who killed you. Bring that cop. If he, he doesn't know, he, he didn't much, then just say, okay, uh, I'm asking OOC, who arrested this person? No one fesses up. Just unarrest the person. It's only a one time, you know, just do that one time. Just unarrest them. It's not a big deal. However, it happens two other times, then obviously either the person's using kindness or as a cop that's really abusing his position. So, yeah. Um, and then just other minor things like prop client, prop serve. That's pretty much just basic protocol. You just go to them while you're doing that, blah, blah, blah. Um, so, yeah.